KRK4 News at 1230. Welcome back. Nearly one in five U.S. adults live with a mental illness and estimates suggest about half do not receive professional care. Sonia and Rachel are here to give us more insight onto the matter and they are really on a nationwide tour to help people through this. Thank you both for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. Also a very special guest, the cutest dog. <laughs> this is Belle. Yes. Who is along for the ride as well, yes. along for the trip. Tell us what you both are doing. Well, there's still a lot of stigma and judgment around mental health. Mm -hmm. I hid my mental illness for over 20 years. I appeared to be living the ideal life, married to the hospital CEO, attending charity events, beautiful home, beautiful children. Yet my life was falling apart behind the scenes and my marriage was hanging on by a thread. And in this book, An Impossible Life, I shatter that ideal appearance and I share everything. Absolutely, it's so important. People hear your story and they relate thinking, I just don't know how much longer I can put this yes. act on. But it's okay to not be okay. Yes, And that's it is. The, kind of the message that you're sharing. Yeah, I feel like after my attempted suicide, I was taken to the hospital where my husband was CEO and the leading psychiatrist there told him, never bring her back to this hospital again, take her where people don't know you guys. And I felt like, okay, if I had suffered a heart attack, would the doctor tell me never to bring that to this hospital again? And that kind of is what prompted me to write my story, come out and just share everything. How free did you feel when you could admit what was going on and seek help and you knew that there was hope? Um, I felt like finally the truth was coming forward and I think it's hard for a lot of people with mental illnesses to want to talk about it because it can be a difficult conversation to have. Absolutely, it's so important what you're doing. Talk about the tour, 50 states. How many mm -hmm. states are you on right now? I think 38. Wow, mm -hmm. 38 states. And um, kind of talk about what you're doing while you're here, yeah. while you're in town. So we are donating the book to libraries, and then we also obviously have the book on Amazon mm -hmm. and Kindle. But yeah, we donate the book and we talk about mental health. Um, and it's been really helping people. I think because we wrote the book like a movie, that's why so many people finish the book in 24 hours because they wow. want to see how it ends. And well, how can people get a copy of the book then? They can go to Amazon and get it in Kindle or paperback or at your local library. Wonderful. How, what kind of impact are you hearing from people whenever they meet you, whenever, whenever they hear your story or they've read your book? What's the, the feedback you get? I feel like the, a lot of my trials are relatable, even though mine were more extreme, like gaining weight or spending, but I did mine in a more extreme manner, like almost weighing 300 pounds or putting $150,000 on credit cards in three months. But after they see that I overcame my trials, they're able to say, hey, if you can do it, so can I. Mm -hmm. Wonderful message that you're spreading. This precious dog has to bring a lot of joy on your tour as yes. well to people. So yeah. sweet. Belle is the dog's name, is yes. that right? It is the best dog. I didn't even know there was a dog in the studio <laughs> for, for a long time. That is a sweet dog and I know bringing a lot of joy. Where can people again find more info? They can go to animpossiblelife.com and follow our journey or there's some tools about um, mental health. Um, therapy, medicine, suicide, you can go on there. Well, thank you for doing what you do. I hope you enjoy your time here in Arkansas. Thank you. And we will put all of her info on our website, krk.com, so you can get the book. We'll be back with more right after this. Stick around.